Hello, YouTube. Welcome to part two on this chapter in relation to the Hulk 181. And I've been doing a lot of thinking about this book. So what I want to do is just go over a few things. Here is the interior. We're going to put the interior aside right now because we're not going to work on that. We're going to concentrate on the cover. Now, last upload, you saw that there was a tremendous amount of color touch. As you can see, all of these bleed throughs are markers. So my goal is try is to try to get this book from restored to conserved. Now in my limited experience, for the conserved grade, you are allowed cover washing. So there's various options of what we can do. There are some scribbles as Comic Journey. I don't know if you, any of you check out his channel, but you should. He, he's a pretty funny guy, and he has some great content. And he distinguished color touch from scribbles. That's scribble. This is color touch bleed through. So instead of hacking the cover apart, I don't want to do that. I am going to try to preserve the cover in the condition that it is without removing the color touch by scraping. As you can see, there's holes here, there's holes here, there's holes all around. I don't want to make any more holes if I could achieve that goal. So what I want to do is I'm going to keep the tape on for now. I'm going to flatten the cover. And then we're going to try to use localized cleaning of different solvents and natural products to try to lighten up these areas of the color touch. We're going to do it slow and steady with different applications because if I can lighten all these areas up of color touch, remove the tape, and then, then do my aqueous bath with the methyl cellulose and high, um, calcium hydroxide, I'll be able to lighten this up and then maybe we can try to remove areas of color touch where it won't be detected. So that is gonna be the goal. So the first step that I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get the press out and we're gonna flatten this out so we can start working on it. So stay tuned. Okay, I have the press out and I'm gonna use my 12 by 12 galvanized sheets, not the 12 by 24 steel sheets because I didn't have an opportunity to paint them yet with clear coat. I had an issue with that Disaster Master Comics, which I am giving away as a part of my 800 subscriber giveaway, in addition to another book. If you vote golden, silver, bronze, or modern, there are a lot of votes, but let's get some more votes. If you don't mind, it would be pretty cool to have more input. So... I just want to flatten this out and this is not to press the book to make it look all nice and dandy it's just to make it flat so we can work on it so let's put the top piece on make sure the spine is in the middle middle we'll put the top piece of the metal plate on and then I'm just gonna gently close the press again this is not to make it nice this is not a pressing to make it smooth this is just a pressing to make the comic cover flat so we can work on it so when i do this i really don't do it really tight we do it nice and loose just to flatten it out 
So we'll do this for about 15, 20 minutes this way to make it nice and flat. Then I'll let it rest for maybe an hour or so. And then we'll be back and we're going to pick one spot where we can focus on the removal of the color from the inside of the cover. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, the book is pressed flat. And I do have it focused on, meaning the camera, one position, this little black mark, which is bleed through from a marker. Now, I want to try to absorb and to remove this bleed through. So this little corner of the Hulk 181, we are going to test. We're going to try to remove the color on the inside. And then we're also going to test and see whether it bled through with the process to the other side in removing the color. Most likely, hopefully it won't. So what am I going to do? What I'm going to use is I'm going to use chemicals. And I'm going to use acetone. Straight acetone. I just brushed it. I put my brush into the container. And we're only going to put on a tiny bit. Just to get it on the area that we're dealing with. That's it. A little bit at a time. And then we're going to try to absorb the color up. Now, what I'm using is the acetone and I, I used to use paper towels all the time for the paper barrier to absorb things. I stopped using paper towels because they became too expensive the rate that I went through them. So what I thought was what else could I use? So I was in Costco and I bought a container of wee wee pads for dogs for puppies and they're super absorbent and they work beautifully so there you go i just put a little acetone i am getting a little black coming up not much though let's let it penetrate and then another trick that i want to try to do is i'm putting the acetone let's put one more drop to get it on there. Then what I'm gonna try is my good old methyl cellulose. So I am going to put a little methyl cellulose on the area in question. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I I'm going to try to have the met methyl cellulose absorb the color by absorbing the acetone. Now, if you ever dropped oil working on cars or any other oil on concrete, you use kitty litter or speedy dry and it absorbs the oil after you dropped it. So we're going to try to do the same procedure dealing with the black on this corner of the book. So I'm isolated to this area. If it works, we'll see. Only time will tell. I'm going to do this application several times. So I'm going to shut the camera off. We're going to let that absorb. And let's see, hopefully it will make an improvement. So stay tuned. Okay, YouTube, I actually did the acetone. And I also did some lemon juice. Because I read that that also may neutralize and lessen ink. But there's no way around it. This ink is in there, and I honestly think the only way to take care of it is to scrape it out. So, 
Listen, the book is not in great shape. Here's a quick scanning so you can see what we're dealing with. So what I think I'm gonna do next is I am going to do my aqueous bath and then we'll let it press between my glass pieces and then we'll see, we'll do a reevaluation. But let's see how the aqueous bath lightens this up at all. Now, I'm definitely going to continue with my conservation. As you can see here, between Hulk and Wolverine, there's pieces missing already. So if a little bit more scraping occurred and nice leaf casting, maybe it will fill it in and it will look better. Now this is Steve's book, so if Steve is out there, let me know. So there you go. Take a look, Wolverine's not happy because he's missing a piece right there. So we'll continue with this. I am still very optimistic. I am not discouraged. We're just gonna take our time and do one step at a time. So stay tuned, YouTube.